Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just looking at how you can change the size and what you see in the data boxes on the trip computer on a Garmin GPS Map 65 series. You should find the same should apply if you've actually got one of the older models, the GPS Map 64 as well. So when we're looking at the standard layout for the data boxes, we've got the six data boxes you can see with a dashboard. It's normally the standard recreational dashboard at the top of the screen that displays the sunrise and has elevation and trip order meter. Sometimes I know customers will mention about wanting to make these boxes a little bit bigger so they're easier to see and of course changing what you see in the boxes. So we're just going to take a look at that first. So the first thing we're going to do while we're on the trip computer, if we simply press the menu button once, you'll see there's an option here that says big numbers. So if I move up to big numbers, so it's highlighted um, in colour here by using the up and down arrows, and then simply press the enter button. You can see now I've got two much bigger data fields. If I press the menu button again, I can go back to small numbers, press enter, back to small numbers. So I'm going to go menu, so I'll just say yes to continue looking for satellites, it's just because we're inside the building. And I'm going to go big numbers. Now we've got the big numbers, we can decide what we want to see in those boxes. So just to give you an example of how you change the data fields. Press the menu button once, and this time move down to change data fields, press enter. So I'm just pressing enter, the very bottom right of the keypad. I've got the first data box, which is speed, highlighted in blue. If I wanted to change, leave that one as it is and change the second one, which is moving time, the down arrow will move me to the second one. So it's whichever one you want to change between those two. We're going to cover the dashboard shortly on the video. So if I press enter on the first box, I can then scroll up and down all of the choices. I know some customers like to see a grid reference of where they currently are displayed in, in the boxes. I'm just going to show you that as an example. So that will be the one that is actually location selected. So I'm just going to move up to that option. So you see there's loads of options here and it's basically looking at the choice you require. When you go online and find the full Garmin manual, it does have a list of what the data fields all stand for. So where it says location selected, that means in my main menu, where I've went into setup and position format, whatever grid system you've set your GPS device to, in this case we're in the UK, I've actually set mine to BNG, which stands for British National Grid, so location selected from main menu, setup and position format, I have as British National Grid, so I can cross refer with an ordnance survey map. So if I now select this as one of the data fields, once I've got a satellite signal, I'll actually get an ordnance survey grid reference display in this box, if I move to the second box down, I can again press enter because it's highlighted in blue and go on all of the various options and select something that I would like to see there. Temperature is only relevant if you've bought one of the Garmin ENT plus temperature sensors. So I can go up and down and just pick something that you would like to see. Could be my average moving speed, speed moving average. Again, it's personal choice to what you put in there. The reason we've actually got a figure in there as the device is trying to lock onto satellites and it's looking at the trip computer which is running in the background that I've never stopped. That's why we're actually seeing some data in there. Now you've You've got to make sure when you're finished and you've changed those two large data fields to what you would like to see that you press the quit button just once to take that shading away from the boxes and that means now we've made the changes. The second thing I'm now going to show is how do we change the dashboard. So if I press the menu button once again and we've got the option change dashboard so I'm going to press enter. The recreational is the standard one. You've got various options here. We can have a compass. If you were geocaching, there's a geocaching dashboard. There's an elevation plot dashboard. But the ones I'm going to look at is either small data fields or large data fields. If I select small data fields, it means I can then have four data boxes at the top, which are smaller, and have the main thing that I want to be able to see quickly with a glance in the two bigger boxes. To change what I have in those four boxes, simply repeat what we've just done. I'd press menu change data fields, press enter, and then you highlight the one you want to change, press enter, and then you move up or down to whatever you want to select and press enter. I'm just leaving that one as it is and press quit. The other thing we can do with this dashboard, if you just want to see three really large data boxes and that's enough information for what you want to see on the trip computer, if I press the menu button again, 
and go change dashboard one of the other options is large data field press enter and then I've just got one large data field if I wanted to change what was in there menu button again change data fields and then I can go up and down the three fields make sure it's the top one if that's the one I'm going to change highlighted in color there press the enter button and then again I can move up and down all the different choices to change it and just press enter on the one I want to change it to I'm actually just going to leave that one as it is and press the quit button so that's how we can change the data boxes from the small boxes to, to these two large boxes and then we've changed the dashboard and then using the menu button change the data fields. If I press the menu button once and say small numbers, enter, it puts the four below back to small um, four small boxes. I can then toggle it back by pressing the menu button and big numbers. Dashboard again I can change if I want to put everything back to how it was because I've decided I just want it as the default Simply press the menu button once I don't want to do a reset at this stage I'm just going to do the restore defaults and it puts it exactly back to how it was when it came out of the box So I hope you found this video useful on being able to change the data field sizes What you see in the data boxes on the trip computer and actually changing the dashboard on the trip computer on the Garmin GPS Map 65S that I've got in front of me now. This should apply to the 65 and 64 as well and possibly some of the older models that we don't stock or have sold. So it's worth having a look in your menu settings when you're on the trip computer on a GPS Map series device. We well, hope you found this video useful. Just remember if you've purchased a handheld GPS device from GPS Training, we have many more videos on our online training course that you get for free for a year that cover using all of the handhelds we sell. You can go to the www.gpstraining.co.uk website and under the training options on our GPS store you can purchase our online training course which is full of videos to get you to grips with your handheld GPS device and thanks again for watching.